in Bombay, he was the son of a very important person at that time. Later on, he became a very important person himself. So his father was very favorable to Srila Prabhupada. And so he was a young man. You know how the young people are at times. Little rebellious. Don't really want to accept what the father does or father says. Uh, so he had a little challenging attitude towards Srila Prabhupada. And one day he told Srila Prabhupada that I have a guru. Oh, who is that? So he gave the name Bhagavan such and such. Prabhupada said, oh, he is Bhagavan. <laughs> so I challenge, I send a challenge to your Bhagavan. What's that? You ask your Bhagavan to lift the table with one hand and hold it for seven minutes. So he went and told that person that Swami Bhaktivedanta send you a challenge. What's the challenge? You have to lift the table with one hand and hold it up for seven minutes. He said, how is it possible? Am I a bodybuilder? I, I, I added that part. His, his response was, how is it possible? So he came and told Prabhupada. He said, see, Krishna lifted not a stable, a mountain, that also with his left hand, and held it for seven days. So I at least, you know, made it so simplified for you, your so-called Bhagavan, uh, hold it for seven minutes. And he could have used left hand, right hand, whatever. Uh, so this is the real Bhagavan. What he can do, nobody else can. So before we claim that we are Bhagavan, we have to be very careful what we are actually trying to imply. Krishna, for Krishna even lifting a Govardhan hill, one mountain, and hold it for seven days is what a big deal. Krishna by his will making all these universes floating in the space. So that is Krishna's potency. It was for, for him just lifting a Govardhan. He does this kind of pastimes just to make us feel excited. Actually when somebody says he is making all the universes floating in the space, we won't be able to understand. But when it's lifting a hill, then we can relate to that to some extent. Oh, uh, at least I won't be able to do that.